Hello, dear little friends. Welcome to Time into Pooja's Books. I hope you are having lots of fun watching my videos and learning unique fun facts every time from them. Today, we are going to explore yet another very interesting topic. We are going to talk about submarines today. Won't it be a lot of fun? to sometime be in a submarine and see the underwater magic of the colorful fishes and the lots of other sea life. Wow! I can see octopus and and tortoise. You may have seen a submarine in television or in movies. It is a large, powerful underwater vessel and it is a cool way to explore the life below the sea. We also depend on it for many other things. In Semarine, I can sink in water. In Boot, I can, I can float in water. Be with me in this video to discover all about the submarine. We will see what are its uses, how does it work, how does it sink in the water and come out when it is required to. We will even explore the history of the submarines and much more. So dive with me right now into the underwater world and discover the world of submarines. Okay, foremost. Let's find out what is a submarine, what are its important parts. A submarine is a special vessel or ship that can go underwater. Inside it has huge tanks that hold water. These are called ballasts. The submarine comes equipped with a power source. These can be engine, nuclear plant, batteries or a combination of all the three. To find its way through the dark oceans, submarines uses sonar equipment, which means that it puts out a sound wave. When a sound wave hits an object, it bounces back a signal to the submarine. So this is how when a submarine is going inside the water with the sound waves and the signal that it is getting back from it, it finds out if there is an obstacle in between, if, if, how it has to move in the dark ocean. Other equipment inside the submarine provide clean water and air for the crew members. The very first submarine was a leather covered rowboat. It was invented way back in 1620 and it could reach a depth of only around 4.5 meters. Later, by the 1900s, inventors had come up with subs that could run on a battery-powered electric motor for underwater and diesel engines for surface traveling. These submarines were even used during the World War I and II. Okay, let's now find out how does the submarine go underwater and how does it come back to the surface. In order for a submarine to stay submerged or underwater, it has special compartments called ballasts. These huge tanks fill up with water when the sub wants to sink. This is because with more water, it becomes heavier and it will sink. When the submarine wants to rise, the water in the ballet is let out. This makes the vessel lighter because now it is filled with air and then it comes up. We have seen into the Dive into Pooja's books float or sink video. How does an object float or sink on water? We had seen that the forces of buoyancy and gravity and density of the object plays a very important role in all this. So here the buoyancy is controlled by the ballast tanks which are found between the submarine's inner and outer hulls. A submarine resting on the surface has positive buoyancy which means it is less dense than the water around it and it will float because in this case the ballasts are mainly filled with air. To submerge, the submarine must have negative buoyancy. So in this case, seawater is filled inside the ballasts 
and hence the submarines begins to sink. Let's talk about the uses of submarines. Submarines can be used for military purposes. Subs protect the navy's ships, the aircraft carriers, and they carry out many other tasks required for the military. It is used for science and research. It is said that we humans have more maps of the Mars rather than of the underwater sea. Because on the Mars, we have the rovers, we have the other satellites which are sending us all the uh, images back day in and day out. You can check this out in the planet's video of Time to Puja's books. So where even the divers, they cannot go in the underwater, their submarine is used to do the science and research. They are useful for studying the depths of the ocean where the divers cannot reach. Now, it, it, the third use is salvage. Submarines can be used after a ship sinks to recover the lost items. And yes, it is also used for tourism in some parts of the world. Some exotic locations offers rides in a submarine. You can check out the Dive into Puja's books Sea Animals video to find out more about all the sea animals. And yes, very soon we are going to have a video to talk in detail about the deep blue sea and the, and the animal life or the ocean life below. Now that you have learned so many fascinating facts about submarines, you can impress your friends and family with your newfound knowledge. Isn't this fun? So talk about all of this information that you're getting with me, with your friends and family. And yes, share these videos with them as well. And subscribe to my channel. Just press the red button below to get updates on such interesting new videos added very often. I love to share all of this with you and please continue doing this. Like my video and comment you so much. Bye-bye.